Welcome everybody. Favorite day of the week, everybody. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, Waterbox Live, episode two of us converting Eel Island, the peninsula 7225. Yes, a very controversial yes. um, change to the tank. I'm happy so. About it. So. You're happy. It's all about He's it. Yes, happy. I'm Pretty excited. Happy. Our Pumped audience up. is a 50-50 split so far. Yeah. So we'll see if we can sway them <laughs> yes. after this uh, this episode of doing some really We nice are going fresh water. We have a special guest in the studio with us. Who could it be? We got Roger from Fish Gallery, hey. Houston, hey. Dallas. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. 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 All right. All right. Come all on. the way from this is Dallas exciting. today yeah. to come off Escape the Tank. Flew up early just for you guys. Wow. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us a little bit about Fish Gallery. Who is Fish Gallery and kind of where you guys So we're looking? a regional aquarium uh, store, retail store and service business. Okay. Um, we focus heavily on freshwater aquariums. Mm -hmm. So I think that's maybe why y'all brought yeah. us in to help you with this project. <laughs> uh, and so we've just, um, you know, have watched your show and yeah. Yeah. volunteered our <laughs> services. And okay. we'd like to see Eel Island a success. We want yeah, everyone yeah. to really take it all in and sure. and appreciate what we're about to do and um i, I think they will once we kind of show them the end yeah. result because you guys do a lot of like big installations and you know i mean that's correct we over, we so. service and install aquariums all over the country but mm -hmm. we're ba you know based in texas that's yeah, correct yeah yeah so but the the scapes everybody that that fish gallery does is really phenomenal like just it's Thank different you. than your normal there it is on the screen there it's, it's not your normal Freshwater aquarium, I'd call it. Right. So anyone who's seen Fish Gallery, we actually went there mm -hmm. over the summer. But anyone who's been to one has, has seen the uh, just a beautiful scaping that mm -hmm. is done with it. Uh, fake plants, driftwood, you know, yep. non-traditional necessarily, but it turns out absolutely beautiful. Um, it's gonna be nice to see what happens with the six it's, foot. It's tank. really yeah. about aquariums made easy in some yeah. capacity because not everyone has the time to be intricately involved with right. the maintenance of a reef tank or a planted aquarium. Yeah. Exactly. And so we, we like to say we do have something for everyone. If you want a reef tank, we can help you with you that it. project, sure. but we also do help you know everyone in between. So yeah, yeah. as everyone here knows, I like I like low maintenance. <laughs> yes, I'm really yeah, into Rich this. Is all about the low. This is gonna be his favorite I, tank. I'll be honest, 2019 <laughs> low maintenance is in. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's it, there's not an app to clean aquariums, so That's you right. have to remember that. And so if you yeah. take on the burden of the project, it's gonna you okay. have to take ownership of that. And yeah. some people aren't willing to make the same commitment that most right. of your fans might make. So that's right. why they might be a little put off by the conversion and the process. Right. right. But hopefully they'll embrace it. Yeah, I, think I think a lot so of people right. also, yeah. when they think of freshwater, if they mm -hmm. haven't done it in a long time, or they come from the saltwater side, is they think of like neon colored plastic plants and yeah, like fake decorations about, and like they don't understand the skeleton that. behind the wheel. Yeah, they don't think about how pretty and beautiful it's, it can actually be with some yeah. driftwood, artificial yeah. plants when it's done correctly using the right materials. hundred percent. That is absolutely there, breathtaking. There's still an art to even an aquarium that's using plastic plants. Yeah. It's just really knowing how to put the landscape together and, and something that looks good and complements the surrounding decor. And we're gonna go all through all that shortly. All awesome. right, you're gonna Great. show us the it's, way. It's, yeah. it's gonna be awesome. So uh, guys, we want you to share the stream, comment, ask your questions. Uh, Rich is gonna be monitoring all the platforms and answering those questions and, and yelling them out to Roger. Um, and we're gonna help you, Roger, and we're gonna go head over to the tank um, right now. So Six foot is awesome. empty and ready to go. So yeah, exciting. It's ready. Let's, let's do, do it. it. It's, it's laid out. Let's Come go. On. Let's <laughs> the surgical table is there. Let's roll. Oh my goodness. We want lots of people here. I'm going to show them what's happening. So where do we start? What? Go ahead, just walk through the, uh, the different materials. So I'm going to stay okay. What we've brought is some more frequently used um, landscape materials for our freshwater aquariums. We've got some of the holy rock. We have some of the, the, the this holy rock comes out of the Texas Hill Country. This is lake, lace rock out of Utah. These are um, Mexican pebbles from the Rio Grande border in Texas. We've got some really nice driftwood that's collected in the hill country as well. And then we have an array of very, very natural looking plastic plants that are gonna be um, you know, artistically put into the aquarium and laid out. We're gonna do that right now. And then the most famous important part is the, is the substrate. We just use a very simple pool filter uh, uh, media and it's a, it's a white sand. It's uh, something that we typically um, 
procure ourselves and it's available anywhere and so this I think everything you'll see here is readily available in most stores or you can come to fish gallery that's there you go. A good Come on, uh, get the plug in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's good. It's good. Okay. So, I, how, where do we start? Okay. So, well, we've, first we should let everybody know. Yeah, that we'll show them. We, so, earlier this week, we took this entire tank. I mean, we went over the whole thing, right, Jess? Yeah. So, I last mean, week on Wednesday, we emptied it. We got the sand. We took out the equipment. So, what we did is we then further detail cleaned it with vinegar and water, cleaned up the bottom, we took the pumps and the equipment out. Vinegar soaked them, cleaned them, and now it's back in and ready for this to start running after yeah. this gets uh and So this day. tank, I mean, it looks really, really good. I mean, considering that just a few weeks ago, this was a full saltwater tank. You need so my muscles? We, we no, I got it. Straight. It looks brand new. Oh, my goodness. Look in at goes this. the sand. This is the fish gallery way right here. Yes. World famous sand. Guys, if you have any questions, comments, please so let Jim, us know. Jim's with us here on the stream, and he says he used to live in Dallas. was a regular customer of Fish Gallery. He says it's, it was a brilliant shop, and they always had the best freshwater oddball fish. All right, look at that. Well, tell Jim hello. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I'm just posting to you some groups real quick. Bentley is a little bummed that we're using artificial plants, but I'm telling you, Bentley, you're gonna like, you're gonna like what it. you see here. I know. And like that we're it's saying, not, it's not every person can do live plants, and that's all involved yeah. in it because it is very, yeah, very involved so in a lot about of work. This. Yeah, this can be for anyone who's got less time to take care of tanks but still wants something beautiful. Um, and honestly, like I was kind of skeptical of this kind of setup before I visited Fish Gallery and saw what was possible, and it really did change my views on it. Wow. Now. How much sand are you going to use in here? Is that like uh, 150 Roger? pounds? I mean, this like yeah, I put 150 pounds. I think we've maxed out. I have <laughs> enough to do a nice uh, aquascape. I'm going to terrace it a little bit so it's not going to okay. be all. So 150 hugging. pounds of sand, just like that. Boom. Boom. That's it. Right into the tank. Now, guys, Roger, also, you've probably done this a few times. Yes, I was. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely have. So now, tell us about this this piece of wood in here. Like, so this, this is all collected in the hill country. It's a. Uh, it's collected, uh, power washed, cured, soaked. Um, very little leaching. It will, you know, a, a newer piece will leach a little bit into the aquarium, but uh -huh. these are been pre-soaked pretty well, and so we shouldn't have too many problems with these. What about, so certain woods, um, if they're not pre-soaked, will leach a lot of brown and tannins into the water. What about floating? Are all, is all wood gonna float originally? So these, these are uh, semi-buoyant, but if you weight them down and lay it out appropriately, they're gonna be uh, totally sunken within two or three days. Okay, so if you weigh them down so and they're So I'm taking into consideration that they, when we do fill it, we're gonna have... Um, Something to weigh it down. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So some no. wood is more buoyant than others. I'm listening. No, so um, so most people, I guess, would not put the wood coming out of the water. Well, when you have a water box open top, which oh, you know wood, wood protruding <laughs> complements the rimless starfire. Yeah, glass. it's kind it of the, the clean um, yeah. okay. look that you can expect, and so I'm putting some big pieces of rock. So now that rock right there, what is that? What is where's that from? Let me know how I can help. That's from uh, Mexico Texas border. It's okay. a Rio Grande um, uh, creek stone. Looks spaceshipy. Creek stone. Like, yep. So also, I mean, let's talk about the importance of the materials that you're using when you go and do a, an aquascape like this. Okay. You know, like. Can you mix different types of rocks? Should you look for more natural versus, you know, I've seen some that have big holes in it or, you know, is there? Well, I, I think at that point, it's really about what is, you know, people's desires and tastes. Yeah. A lot mm -hmm. of people, you know, holy rock has been very popular for a long time. So a lot of people don't tend to use it as much. Um, but I, I still think it's a very classic rock and, yeah. And it's great for Africans. It has a lot of character um, for areas of the country that don't tend to have higher pH water, like Florida and Texas. It's great for naturally uh, buffering the pH. Okay. Um, so it's it's definitely is a good... all rock safe? Is all rock safe for fresh water? So yes, someone the... just wandering around, they go to their store. Are they going to be able to be sure that no, pretty much I... any rock is safe in salt fresh water, or is it going to be? I of... think that that most. For the most part, most rocks are going to be safe. I mean, there's certain ones that uh, people are going to 
definitely want to be careful with or a lot of people will boil the rocks in advance and mm -hmm. you know just to make sure it's not going to leach anything into the water so we got a lot of people in here watching uh, you do this scape um, Sean says that no he's rest. not really into fresh but this is starting to look really cool oh, so, I think we might convert Sean, some saltwater people to freshwater lovers in this uh, uh, Scott Crow's <laughs> watching he's saying what are you going to do about the fish choices? Let's talk about the fish choices and what your vision is for this tank. Well, Scott's <laughs> really a little premature. Hi, right? Scott. So I, you know, I love Scott, but I, I think that he needs to let us get through the motion here, and then we'll start <laughs> talking about fish. Scott, focus on the scaping, so, yes. okay? Scott. You were officially turned down by Roger. Turned down. Scott. <laughs> he, just, he just shot you down. Scott, Scott I love you. So, I'll see you next week. So now, now ask me, tell, or tell us this. Like, why... Like what's going through your mind here, right? You know, so, as, as you're building, like, why well, would naturally you put this? we have a peninsula aquarium, right? We have an open top. We have a six foot by two foot footprint. Yeah. So as I like to say, that's you know your canvas. Mm -hmm. So you know, I took it all in a few minutes before okay. we started, and okay. I, I knew immediately how I was going to lay it out. Okay. And so I'm, um, you know, working with with kind of a a higher landscape that's going to kind of peek out obviously at the wood that comes yeah. out of the the, the 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 aquarium on center and then i'm going to taper down okay. into um, a mix of of the lace rock the holy rock really nice plants to complement it and kind of let you know just put it together a really nice composition that complements the space yeah, yeah, yeah. will look great in here will be great for your two associates that have to answer the phone Dude. all day they're going <laughs> to love the aquarium Dude, this is going to be perfect right here in the office right. so uh, as you can see, also Roger's got a ton of rock that he can choose from, right? So he brought in, yes, uh, you know, bins of rocks um, with different shapes, sizes, what have you. I do have a question. So yep. pretty much all the rock is of the grayish tone, but we have one bright white one kind of sitting in well, there. Is there any have, particular reason? It's kind of a centerpiece. It's going to kind of set the tone for this end of the landscape. Okay. I have some smaller pieces of white rock that I will incorporate in there to complement it. Wow. Dude, this is awesome. So it's a good contrast kind of to all the gray rock. Throw some bright white in there, mix That's it up correct. a little bit. Hmm. I feel like I should be able to help somehow. Yeah, but I know. I'm just kind of really like help. just yeah, yeah, no, talking okay. I mean, and inspiring. Guys, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kinda, <laughs> Usually know, I'm, I'm the one standing here. <laughs> no, it's all good. So I'm we're still here just standing watching here. The, you just let the, us know what pro. you need, Roger. I mean, we're here to help you. Well, it, it's after five o'clock, so a well, beer right. would be good, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Waterbox Live happy hour. That's right. Happy hour. All right. I am putting a few pieces strategically placed on the wood to make okay. sure, as we talked about, they're slightly buoyant, so okay. I can make sure that we keep them weighted down. Now, well, usually, if you place a piece of rock on there, do you like in a week once it's been like? where it's not going to float anymore, do you then remove those rocks? Or is it, you, you know, keep it, them in the structure? It depends, but you know, like any aquarium, you're going to go in to potentially clean it. So if yeah. you go in and re-landscape it, mm -hmm. clean the plants, flip the rocks, clean the rocks, th 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 at that point, you can do whatever Probably you want strategically out. with it because it's going to be totally buoyant and will stay down. But you I make mean, it sorry, look like totally, it's supposed uh, to be. So, so yeah, it'll weigh itself down yes, once it's, correct. Once okay. it's waterlogged. Okay. So again, if you guys have questions, post them in the comments below. That's a good one. Yep. Man, this is going to turn out really epic. So another thing we're trying to show everybody too is that any of the water box aquariums can be done as freshwater, right? So even though we call it the reef series or the pro or the peninsula, you can do a freshwater tank with this straight, you know, as you receive it. There's very little modifications you need to do. Yeah, um, and a freshwater tank, especially larger ones like this mm -hmm. and the pros and the peninsulas, um, are great to have a sump system because it is more water volume, your higher filtration rate, yeah. um, filter socks are polishing the water, so you can still get all the benefits mm -hmm. while you're doing it as a freshwater. And especially if something like this, you're going to have hev like a heavier bio load and more dirty fish. It's great for the extra cleaning availability of the uh, sump system. Absolutely. Now, did you? Oh, we got greenery going in. Uh oh. So this is when it all comes together. Also, Jeff, I don't know if you told Did you guys talk about that? We haven't talked about media? anything on the system, but I guess we can while he can. Oh, so we, we can, can start, start filling, filling too. We can start got, filling now? Yes. What's he adding now? Yeah, what are you adding now? What's I, that? I'm adding some uh, natural grasses that are fake mm -hmm. that um, <laughs> look really good. <laughs> oh, so that, that. Some naturally fake grasses that <laughs> I'm going to build it up glasses. a little bit in the back. Okay. And then I'm going to um, 
put some additional plants in there to give it some nice. Um, and that's going to kind of hide the overflow box as well. Yeah, from it being really noticeable. The overflow box, and and what it does is it naturally draws your eye to the main body of the aquarium, which the purpose of this aquarium is a room divider and peninsula, mm -hmm. and you don't really want to see the overflow box, so naturally it's going to kind of redirect your uh, vision towards the main part of the aquarium. All right, so you say we can start filling this? Yeah, you All right. fire we're, away. We're, we're firing away. So I, I have some ferns, um, very natural looking ferns. I know people are critical of plastic plants, but these are not your everyday um, 1980s, 1970s type plastic plants that you're used to. Okay, well I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a plug. Where can somebody go to get these plants if they like what they see? They can go um, to fishgallery.thefishgallery.com. Yes. Um, Thefishgallery.com. Yeah, Thefishgallery.com. We'll post it here in the comments here right. in just a second. And uh, we do sell the plants online. We sell all the rocks as well. And I do believe you offer financing. Yeah, we sure do. We do aquariums and financing. We install. So you can even finance these rocks if you wanted to. Anywhere in the country, we can deliver and install an aquarium for you. Well, that's awesome. Um, a couple people are asking uh, about the sand again. What kind of sand you guys are so using So this here. is a pool filter sand that's very popular in the industry. A lot of people use pool filter sand. This sand in particular comes from um, Texas that it's got a really, really nice, bright white look to it, and it's it's unique in that capacity because a lot of sand, like clay sand that you buy at Home Depot or um, other pool sands that you'll see around the country are more like a darker brownish beach type sand, whereas this is really white and bright, and that's mm -hmm. what kind of makes it special. Okay, so we're already starting to fill. Mm -hmm. Now, somebody can use plain tap water if they wanted to. Yes. Um, Absolutely. Or so, fresh water. There's nothing most, wrong with that. A lot of people do use tap water when you're doing fresh um, fresh water systems and mainly you have to dechlorinate them and you may just want to <clears throat> you know run the carbon or dechlorinate that kind of stuff. We're actually going to use RO water because that's what we make here regularly and it also with the hydras because it's a higher output light we're using the plus edition of the peninsula. Um, it's going to be a little bit more light output so we're going to use RO water. It's going to be a little bit more clean. Um, of any kind of like just phosphates and things like that. So, but either one you can use. We are going to have to buffer the pH of the RODI water <clears throat> because it does um, come out very low, and we do need to buffer that up. So, do keep that in mind. If you choose to use RO water, you are going to have to good? buffer the pH of it. All right, I'm going to turn this one so, on. So, uh, so Robert says the best part of setting up an aquarium is you can make art or make trashy art. This is 100% art. Thank you, Whoa. Robert. Appreciate so that. Robert is uh, giving you a thing. Beverly says, dig in this scape. So, um, the consensus really is good to... so far. Yeah, so far people are approving the whole look here. Once they see this thing set up with the oh, aquascape man. and the it's fish. With those fish. They're going to be in love with it. They're, they're going to be in love with it. But we're not going to disclose the fish because Scott wants Sorry, to know. Sorry, Scott. Yeah. Freshwater Joe is listening too. We know <laughs> that's right. This is, this is this is pirating at its finest. Yes, and so they want to know what what you're trying to get you to release your secrets. Release the secret. So as you can see, like these these are kind of aloe vera cactus looking. They're not you know necessarily look like a real aquatic plant, but they're very unique. And a lot of times, what I'll do is they come in different colorations. So I'll take a few green ones and then just have a pop of the other color of the same plant just to kind of give it a, a different um, kind of look and I think it looks really nice. I like the, that they look kind of spiky so it adds like a yep. texture element to it where most of your plants you use have like a smoother yeah. uh, type this, of blade. This, but very this cool one looking. is unique mm -hmm. and I'm adding some Ooh, pop of white rock. Mm. There we go. So it's kind of turned out to like a little bit more like uh, I say, I say island e for well, like a eel peninsula. Island, peninsula, but you can tell that you know this. He's keeping it open around here so that the lots fish, of, can, yeah, lots, of yeah, it's gonna be lots, swim swim lots of variety there. of fish, yeah. Yeah. Um, schooling fish. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the the diversity is gonna be incredible. I you know I, a lot of people like to stint, tend to uh, go with what's called a biotope with certain species from a right. certain part of the world, and we. Are definitely not going to go biotope because this is not your traditional 
aquarium. This is more of a commercialized aquarium for, mm -hmm. you know, everyday enjoyment for anyone that, you know, may not be so enthusiastic about being committed to the hobby. Right. We, we're trying to influence people that may have never even thought of adding an aquarium up until today. Correct. Right. This should be great really inspiration important. for that. Yeah. And, you know, what, part of this whole transition is that we want we want to repurpose Eel Island in the capacity that we're just changing it up and we're showing that there's options outside of just saying, oh, I'm done with the Correct. aquarium on the Craigslist, Craigslist yeah, it yeah. goes. And so there's there's lots of options with an aquarium in a mm -hmm. home or office or for sure, for sure. restaurant. If you know of any out there, they need some love. <laughs> Thefishgallery.com. Yeah. There's a good plug. That's a good right. plug. That's a good one. Jarmo says he's watching from Belgium, so we got wow. people, Hello. people from Belgium yeah. watching. All right. Wow. Dude, I'm loving this here. So you got some different types of plants. You yeah, I've got ferns. some others. I'm, I'm getting close to being planted. Now, is it, here's a good question. Is it easy to clean these plants? You very, know what I mean? Like very, yeah, very, yeah, maintenance maintenance routine? Routine. very, very low maintenance. Very low maintenance. Would you suggest that they like take out the ones that are in there and like bleach and Swap clean them, them or have like a second set and kind of rotate it out? Well, every you so can often? do either. You can okay. bleach them or you could have a second set. Clearly, second set is safer because you're you have already treated them and cured them, and mm -hmm. so. But very often, when we're servicing an aquarium, we'll, we will bleach them on okay. site. They're very resilient to bleach. That these plants will hold up two to three years from routine cleaning. Wow. Okay. And um, they're all made of PVC plastic. Wow. Okay. Looks really great. It's turning out fantastic. I can't wait. Do next week, guys, we're going to be putting the fish in this thing. Mm. I hear it's going to be a lot of fish. It's going to be a lot. So let me ask this. Yes, you know, sir. As we're doing that, so the fish for freshwater. Everybody's like, ah, oh, man, the freshwater fish are. They're all dull. They're not as colorful as, you know, saltwater. You know, and that's that's a. Well, I haven't seen know, it yet. I guess. What is that? You know, what is your take on that? The take is is that they've never opened their eyes to the op yeah. the possibilities. And right. you know what? In in this aquarium in particular, we're gonna use farm raised fish that are raised literally an hour south of here in Orlando, yeah. uh, south of Orlando in Lakeland, uh -huh. and uh, we're gonna use 100% Florida farm raised fish. Uh -huh. So it's good to note that because there is not only you supporting the local economy and right. and farmers, but you're also using something that has zero impact on you know whether they're collected in the wild or sure, whether sure, they're sure. collected from uh, protected areas or. Um, and how about many the coloration? Reason. So I mean, are, are we going to expect some the variety nice color? of color and and that will achieve is is going to be, in my opinion, yeah. almost comparable to a marine aquarium. I mean, it's not going to be. be a bold statement out there yeah, to our no, viewers. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't, come on now. They, they don't come to my house and beat me up. I mean, sorry. <laughs> it's good. No, it's really good. I mean, this thing is really turning out. Thank so you. Do you need this one? Are right, you I'm thinking gonna, like okay. it needs, like at what point do you start going, eh, yeah, I kind of want to adjust this. I want to move this here. I'm tapering off a little bit. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to fill in the last little spots and, okay. and come to a conclusion. So you don't really have like a science to it. You just kind of put some plants in and just go as you feel and see what just looks natural and right or yeah, is mean, there generally some kind of concept behind ratio of plants rock wood? I, I think nowadays the, the general consensus is less is better mm -hmm. whereas people and that's people's lifestyles and their um, and the way they plant an aquarium and so you know it's it's more about clean design that flows well together and, and complements um you know the, the the aquarium itself so okay. so we have brad watching all the way from the united kingdom wow uh, and harry just tuned in he said where did you get these plants from these uh artificial plants you can head over to the fish gallery the fish gallery dot com just That's... i actually just posted it up in the comments there for you harry so check out nice. uh their website there and you can pick them all up online they do offer financing on all their aquariums and uh, products as well. You also ship too, right? I mean, yes, so you can we have a ship. website. So yeah, we, can... we can uh, ship these plants. We can, um, you can buy them in store. Mm -hmm. Lots of options. What water is that being? Is that the regular water? Or? This is the RO water that we had sitting out that was already ready. I'm just kind of speeding up the process. 
Yeah, he's just mucking up my tank. Yeah, yeah. Mucking it up. getting out of the way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it wasn't going to be cloudy. Yeah, thanks, Dean. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> we got Sam watching from the United Kingdom also, so lots of UK. Oh, man. Uh, Scott's trying to get some more information out of you, Roger. He's, oh, my God, Scott, no. He says he's asking ask him about the lighting uh, with a freshwater aquarium. Mm. So, um, you know, I, I think the most common lighting for anything is LED. You don't have to do um, such high-powered LEDs. Obviously, these these are designed to, to grow a coral. So, mm -hmm. but... It, they're still great for this tank. I mean, just make sure you got to manage the amount of lighting so you don't have an algae explosion. Yeah. Yeah, so these will go down to a much lower percentage than we were running on Eel yeah, Island. Yeah, we've got them turned up to 100% right now. Just for, to show. So you guys can see but it. But these are going to go to real low power. I mean, maybe 15, 20% if even. Yeah. Just because we do not need to promote algae. The more light you put in it, the more algae you're going to grow, especially when there's nothing utilizing the light. So we are going to be very cautious with the intensity and spectrum that mm -hmm. we use on this so that it doesn't become... Um, dirty and also using the RO water will help us a little bit in that cause too with some high output light. Yes. Troy's asking what you guys think of silk plants. So silk is the other most frequently seen plant in this space but mm -hmm. these are all made 100% PVC mm -hmm. and because they're not a fabric like silk they last a lot longer Much they're longer. plastic mm -hmm. where silk is a fabric and so mm -hmm. the traditional silk plants they do work, they're just not gonna last as long and they're certainly not gonna clean like these. So um, we pretty much steer clear of any plants that are out of silk. Gotcha. Yeah, I always had in my uh, experience when I used the silk ones is they would start to fray over time. They never really mm -hmm. came clean to their original color because the fabric still held on to some of the discoloration yeah. or the bleach lightened them. So um, these definitely will hold their color and uh, structure a lot longer. So also, Jess, you should tell him about the biomedia while he's doing the last touches, right? Yes. Yeah, so for this sump. one, um, like a lot of times in a freshwater system, you're going to use canister filters, which are perfectly good. We just are with this being a water box with the sump. So we're actually going to use some bio blocks. This is going to take place of um, biological media, bio balls, anything like that, just to help keep the tank more stable. We are going to have a heavy bio load in here, I have a feeling. Um, so we're going to do this. So we actually are putting two of these marine pure blocks in here. And this is actually just like a really um, porous block of certain material that holds beneficial bacteria. And I think this is like equivalent to like oh, sorry. 150 pounds of live rock or something like that. So we're gonna use that, we're gonna seed it, get this in here while it's running. Um, and we're keeping a lot of the same equipment. So we're running the same pump, we're gonna have the heaters, we'll use the media mm -hmm. reactors. A lot of the stuff is going to be um, similar equipment that we're using. Yeah. Man, this is, I gotta admit, Roger, this is turning out. Yeah, it looks <laughs> really stunning. good. Thank you. It really is stunning. I mean, everybody's commenting that, man, they just love how this is turning out. You can see him, he's evaluating. He's trying to see if yeah, these plants not, fit anywhere. It's so the he artist needs, at work. Yeah, you know I mean? the steps the back, reviews. He's, he's readjusting. Changes. Just okay. flopping. Just fluffing. fluffing a little bit. Yeah. Flop. But, man, so this is really, I mean, who would not want this in their home? I mean, I can only imagine, you throw a bunch of fish in here. There's a natural beauty to it, which yeah. is very different than the saltwater look, but there's a, a beauty that you can't like, you can't deny. Like even if you love saltwater, you see this and you're like, mm -hmm. that's really absolutely just beautiful. Yeah, it's Makes you think to... you're down in like a lagoon or like a riverbed somewhere in the Amazon and you know, right mm -hmm. under there. Yeah, very, very. I did stir up that water a little bit. I yeah. apologize. Yeah, for I mean, making a little thanks, Dean. <laughs> <laughs> these these that are going in right now are pretty cool. Yeah, yeah the, these. Yeah, what are these? This is like a like a. I don't know what that is. These are uh, lilies. I lilies. have no I idea. <laughs> no, I don't think they're lilies. But we'll no, I'm them. just kidding. I it's don't. High. I have no idea, but I like these plants. <laughs> I also noticed that. The way Roger's doing this is he's clustering groups together of the, same. Yes. of the same thing. And a lot of people, they'll buy a group and then they sporadic the whole thing. But when you kind of cluster it, it looks like it was growing that way in the wild a little bit, you know, where it's right. like yeah. it's, it's more natural. natural. More natural. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it, it tends to lean a little bit more um, cleaner and, you know, uh -huh. not so jumbled together. Or as I call it, sometimes do people do the potpourri of 
of plants and they mix them yes. all together and they spear them in the gravel. Potpourri. And, the potpourri. And, 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 uh, I remember a potpourri tank. Actually, I believe we did a battle actually at Fish Gallery. We did, and you called true. mine the potpourri this tank. This is true. And <laughs> just my won. potpourri tank. <laughs> Didn't win the yeah. contest by default, but, yeah, but it, it did. First. It did sell first. By default. So I'm just gonna say potpourri <laughs> wins sometimes. Sometimes the potpourri. <laughs> All right. Don't use potpourri in your actual tank. Yeah. 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 Try not to. Put it back on the rack. Put it on this side. You just put it on the glass. There you go. Right. It'll clear that. Oh, side. we got another hose coming. Clear, the superpower. Oh, yeah, God. Here we go. It isn't going to stir it up. Is that going right on the sand? Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. When Planet Tanks says hit that like button. Definitely yeah. hit the like button. Hit Share the like stream. Button. Share the uh, stream, He also everybody. says those look like they might be imitation Brazilian penny warts. Oh. It, it is. <laughs> I think he's, he's got it. Rock yes. has confirmed. It, it is. <laughs> he's like, that confirmed. sounds like I, a good answer. It wasn't coming to me, Nelson, but thank you. <laughs> uh... William says he looks really great, guys. Good, great job. They're loving it. They're loving the tank. It's Where? really nice to be able to show something different than we've really ever done because most of our builds water? have yeah. always been saltwater here, reefs here, or something similar. Yeah. So being able to show the other side of what you can do with a water box is really awesome. Yeah. So we're using a peninsula uh, system here that is a lot of times used as a reef tank as a freshwater tank, but water box does have complete lines of freshwater tanks. We have. The mm -hmm. clear mini series for small freshwater, the clear rimless tanks. We have the clear, and we also have the clear pro as well Correct. as the Terra. So uh, keep that in mind if you are setting up a freshwater tank. But I mean, I think this thing is so looking. How you feeling? How you feeling about this, I, Roger? Come on. I like it. You I, like it? I, I kind of lost my vision when you clouded up the water, oh. but oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's already. Cast and blame. You know, Dean, you, <laughs> you, you muddied the water, but I, I, I think it's turned out really nice. <laughs> That's so my guy. Wow. And you know, wow. next is the Way fish. Way to offend our guest. I mean, yeah. come on now, right? That's the exciting part is the fish. That's uh, seeing this getting stocked and yeah. I can only imagine what you have in the store on the fish for this. Though. We do have quite a selection, but yeah. most of them come from right here in Florida. That's a beautiful thing. Wow. So, so there's going to be no hints of what fish are going in here next week, yeah, right? Yeah, you're going like, to put like a thousand neons in here? You're going to do... Uh, no, we won't do neon Oscars. Touches. What are you going to put in here? Uh, what no. did you just say? Oscars? No, no Oscars. We'll do a variety of semi-aggressive fish that coexist very well together. Okay. All right. So as this fills up, we should head into the... Are you planning to do more okay. escaping on this? Or? No, I think I'm a, it's a wrap. I think I it's like the way it is. Okay. He has approved his thing. Let's make he sure has that. Drop the mic. Let's make sure Adam can watch these as yeah. we go in. Where is Adam? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, this has got a pinch in it. So, um, but yeah, if you want to head back into the studio, I can. Uh, Mm -hmm. There we go. All right. That sounds good. Very, very good. And I'm sure this tank will clear up very, very quickly. It will, I bet within probably 30 minutes to an hour, it'll be cleared mm -hmm. up because it's not very cloudy. Um, and once it goes through the filter socks and stuff, it should clear up. And it quick. also has the high quality water box filtration. So exactly. that's going to be right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> of course it So does. naturally, it's going to. Wow. Polish that water fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. It looks wow. good. It's going to be really great when it clears up, get to show it, and like you can kind of start to envision when there's fish in there, but then you, uh -huh. when you add the fish, it just puts it over the top. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. But it, I think if nothing else, it shows some rocks, wood, and the artificial plants and how beautiful a freshwater mm -hmm. tank can right. be without anything in it already. Sure. Yeah, I yeah. think you got to point out the, the backdrop. We yeah. Have For everybody that hasn't <laughs> noticed, right? So we the backdrop here, we went from saltwater to freshwater. Do you see that? I like that blend. You see that blend? blend? Yes. Beautiful Yeah, blend. we want to thank Keenan for that. <laughs> Keenan, nice yeah. blend. <laughs> he, he blended nice blend saltwater to freshwater. <laughs> it's really, really great. Um, Tony, uh, Troy says he wants to bribe Santa for a water box. 
Uh, Jim says, I was about to order the all-in-one 50 to do a fresh water, but now you have me thinking about doing the Marine 70.3. Um, you're giving me options in the future. He's feeling very inspired. <gasps> That's good. Very so nice. So you've inspired a lot of people here, Roger. Right. Um, but wow. So everything is looking great. Um, and we just uh, want to remind everybody about the family reunion too, right? Definitely go to waterboxaquariums.com and uh, look at the forward slash the family reunion. Um, they can pick up, up uh, the weekend pass is for free. So if you want to come mm -hmm. enjoy the speakers, so on and so forth, maybe stay at the resort, you can uh, come into the Waterbox uh, speaker sessions for free. Yes. If you want to buy a VIP pass, they're now only $99. So if you want to join us Friday night, Saturday night mm -hmm. parties, by all means, make it. There's not yes. a lot of tickets left for that. Yes, yes. So, um, but also, we got Kevin here. He says he's got a 4820 water box fresh water. Oh, yeah. Has beautiful quality tank of stand. Currently building it out as a high tech live planted tank. Oh, really loves it. Yeah. Man. So, awesome. we've got a lot of, lot of fans. Oh, and there's a the shot there of the tank. Roger, I think you knocked it out of the park, man. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, that, that that's, looks, that's a good angle right there. That looks What hot. I like is that it's, it's not overly planted, mm -hmm. not too much height where it's just like blocking the view of everything. It just looks really yeah. nicely ratio. Mm -hmm. The plants and the rock and everything, the tons of open space, and it just makes it feel so big as well. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And I love you the know, space for the fish. This I like the bubbles coming out of the white rock. It's kind of mesmerizing. <laughs> it's, you know, it's, like it's <laughs> porous. It's, it's kind of part of the Texas Hill Country aquifer. Do you ever put bubble you. wands it, in your tanks? Maybe you think know, of that. I'm not a big bubble guy because I think it kind of distracts from yes. the, the landscape of an aquarium. It used to be a major thing, like for yeah. freshwater tanks and stuff. You always have your little bubble wands in there, yeah. air stones and stuff like that. Well, with the, all the area takes place in the wet dry system and as the water recirculates yeah. so yeah. you don't need any incidental yeah it's not um, actually functional aeration. it's just for looks yep. and stuff yeah well guys thank you so much for tuning in next week the fish are going in and I'm telling you it's gonna be very very exciting uh, we want to thank fish gallery and Roger for coming to us today yeah and, and hooking us up with all this it's been a great show if you have any questions please uh, comment below right next mm -hmm. Wednesday guys continues. Thank See you, you so much. Bye-bye.